What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying a cool little bluegill bug. This jig drives them crazy. So to tie this, I'm going to start with a 1 32nd ounce jig head. I flattened the head, powder painted it black, and then put a 3mm eye on there. For the thread, we're going to be using a brown UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. We're just going to start that thread right behind the head and take it down slightly past the point of the hook. For the tail, we're going to be using some silly legs. These are barred pumpkin green orange. Alright, so first you want to take the thread back up to the head. Then we're going to take four silly legs and just tie them in halfway through, right at the head. Then you're going to pull the legs that went out in front, just pull them back, and we're going to tie those down to where we ended the thread. Just nice tight thread wraps. And that should make the silly legs surround the hook shank so that they're on all sides. And then bring the thread back up a little bit, just a couple turns above. Now we're going to cut these to length, so we want to make sure we get all of them captured in our fingers. But we don't want to stretch them all the way because that will alter the length. We want it to be accurate, so we want to pull it just enough so that it's not stretched. And then you can eyeball it, you want them to be about the length of the hook shank, so just cut it right there. And you can leave it just like that uh, if you like the tail fibers to fray out a little bit. But if you want them to be more controlled, you can undo a few thread wraps and then just do a lot looser wraps as you wrap those down. And that will just make it so that those legs don't fray out. That's how I like to do it. And then you can just take the thread back down to tie it down tighter. And as long as the wrap furthest down is loose, they shouldn't go crazy. So now we're going to take the thread back up to the head again. For the body, we're going to be using this black and brown barred chenille. We're just going to take a piece of that, tie the tag end in at the head, and we're going to tie it in just a little bit and start wrapping down from there since we're going to double up this body. I like the bodies on my bluegill jigs to be thicker. So we're just going to wrap that down the body, get nice even wraps. And when we get it down to the tail, we can bring it back up. Just keep constant tension and keep your wraps even. Once you get that back up to the head, you can tie that off. Just give it four or five really tight turns. Then do a turn in front of the chenille. And then you can cut the chenille off. If the chenille left any fluffies behind, you can just pull those off. Do a couple more wraps of thread just to make sure everything's secure. And now we're going to whip finish. Just give it a nice 5 or 6 turn whip finish. Pull our thread tight. And then we can cut the thread. So that is it. You can see that this is a pretty buggy pattern. The nice plump body with those rubber legs just give it an irresistible insect look. These are definitely one of my new favorites for bluegill. Tie some of these up and you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe.